the best NRL fantasy buys for round 15. Who should you be looking at for this week? Welcome back. I'm Longy, previous overall fantasy champ and the casual athlete here with Zero Tackle to talk about the best buys for round 15. Let's get right into it here. First one, no surprises here. It is an A-plus option. Big Dave Fafita. 895k is a good price. He's averaging in the 60s as well. Only available at edge, but he plays this next round 16 major buy round two. He's got the Tigers this week, and my tip here is that he absolutely turns up. So you look at that Tigers side, they had a shocker against Dragons last week. Were absolutely destroyed. Zach Lomax put up 103 points against them, and plenty of other guys were scoring well in that game too. So I look at this and I think, you know what? No Lachlan Galvin, no Isaiah Papali, no John Bateman. Uh, Alex Twal in some doubt as well. You know, they've moved around the back row. Safe Arthur's on the bench now. I think Dave Fafita should show out in this game. He'll be a force to be reckoned with. He's my captain for this week. Next up, Jerome Hughes, a guy I bought last week, but you can still go get him right now. 57.3 average is the tip of the iceberg. When Cam Munster doesn't play, this guy is a force to be reckoned with for fantasy. He scored 76 points last week. He could easily do it again this week. And at 752K with a great buy schedule, being a Kiwi as well, he doesn't play Origin. Don't have to worry about any of that. He is an A-grade buy for this week, so I love this option. Third guy here, Adam Fanua Blake, and he had some challenges, right? So he had that week off where he sort of had that problem. He didn't get to the change room in time after the game. Whatever was going on there, he's back in action, scored a great try last week. The minutes are fading a little bit where the Warriors are full strength right now, so he's not getting those 65 minutes that you're hoping for, but he is so dynamic, so explosive. Again, another guy who's not going to have to worry about origin and a guy that you can plug into your team through this origin and buy period who's going to absolutely crush it for you. 57.7 is a pretty accurate average for him. I'm going to give him an A-. minus. The only detractor there is that the minutes are a little bit dicey, but if you can get Adam Fanua Blake as your middle forward, he's an option that you could possibly even look at captaining for next week as well. Fourth guy here off the list, Ewan Aitken, and you're going to be sick of me talking about this guy, but the Dolphins have awesome buy coverage. They play the major buy rounds. He's available at center, and he is the best center in fantasy with a 57.3 average. 787K, it's a big price to pay for you and Aitken, but if you've got the cash to spend and you want to get a center that you can plug in for the rest of the season, I love you and Aitken as an option. I think you can go and make that move. It's an A- minus just because the price is a little bit high for mine, but he's a guy you never have to think about again, so I love this option. And finally, a really risky one, uh, a spicy, spicy pod here. We've got Connor Watson in this spot. 780k, it's a price that he could easily exceed, right? So this guy has been on fire. He's named to start at hooker this week with Brandon Smith out for one week right now, but he is the preferred starting lock as well. And he plays some hooker minutes when he does start at lock too. So I look at him at this price and I think, you know what? We could be looking at a guy who averages 60 plus and he's one of the best forwards in fantasy, right? If things go correctly for him, the challenges here are what is the role in this Roosters team? What are going to be the roles of guys like Nafu White, guys like Terrell May who are on the bench? You know, Victor Radley, is he an edge back role for the rest of the year? Are the Roosters going to persist with that? And can Connor Watson stay fit? So he, there's never been any questions about his talent. He's, he's an awesome football player. But can he stay fit for the rest of the year? And can you trust him in your fantasy side is the question. I've given him a B plus. The upside is an A plus, but the risk is there as well. I mean, those are the top five fantasy buyers for round 15. If you want more, let us know. Make sure to stick around because we're making a bunch of fantasy videos here too. I'll see you guys in the next one.